The default password reset page and even the login page of any WordPress website is quite boring. Blech. It looks vanilla. All the website looks the same when it comes to the login or the password reset page. And there's no customization option so that you can match your branding on your website to the login pages and the password reset pages. Well, all that changes today because in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to customize and change those login pages so you can customize and add your branding to those pages on your website. Let's go. So let's talk about the simplest way we can customize these pages on our WordPress website. Of course, I'm talking about using a plugin designed for this specific purpose. So let's go to my website. I'll go to the plugin section. I'll go to add new to add a new plugin to my site. And in the plugin search options, I'll search for a plugin called theme my login. So I'll just type it in. Theme my login. And this is the plugin we will be installing. It looks like a chameleon. I hope it's a chameleon. So this is the uh, identifier that you can instantly notice that this is the plugin we'll be using. Let's install the plugin. And the plugin is installed. Let's also activate it. And now the plugin is activated. We can head over to the settings by going to the settings option right here or going to the theme in my login and theme my login and go to the general settings here. So inside the plugin settings, you have plenty of options. You can configure or even the registration process. You can force users to use their username only, email only, or let the settings be at the default values. All these settings are uh, something that you can configure on your own, depending on how you want the behavior to be on the login and registration pages. But the thing that we are concerned with is these option, which is these slugs. So what are these pages already created or what is this options? So what this plugin does is automatically update, change, or I say modify or customize the dashboard page, the login, logout, register, lost password, and the reset password pages on your website automatically. So all of this has already been done. You don't need to customize them if you just want the styling to be matching with your theme styling. Let me demonstrate. I'll just copy the login page URL and then open up an incognito window, right? Of, of course, because I am not, I don't want to be logged in. I'll just open up the login page for this site and instead of the default WordPress uh, login page, you see this page, which is matching my theme styling, which is the default theme in WordPress. But you can instantly see that, hey, this is not the regular WordPress uh, login page. It's matching the style of my theme. And this is what the plugin does. I can match or I can open up any of the other pages as well. Let's say the lost password page. I'll copy this and I'll just go back here. I'll open this page up. And the lost password page also looks like my theme styling or the theme styling is inherited already on this page. So all of this is automatically done. Now, all you have to do is, let's say, if you want to change the URLs anywhere on your site, just copy and paste these URLs. Let's say you want to change or add the lost password URL to somewhere as a button on the header or footer. That's completely up to you if you just want to have this theme styling match. But what about additional customization options? Let's say you want to customize any of these pages a little extra or add some additional elements on the page. Well, you can do that as well. Let me demonstrate how that works. So there are two things that you need to keep in mind, or I'd say three things. First, you need to create a new page on the site, of course. So I'll go to the pages section. I'll create a new page and I'll add configure two different options on the page. The first is the URL or the permalink of the page. So keep in mind that right now we're configuring the lost password page. The URL has to be the lost password. The URL has to match this URL, which we see here. So I'll just copy this for simplicity. I'll go to the page. First, I'll add a title, say lost password. You can keep the title of the page, anything you like, but the URL has to match. So I'll go to the URL section. Just keep in mind, I'm using the latest version of WordPress in this uh, 6.1 and above. The URL section is under the page options, but in the previous versions of WordPress, you had a permalink section or permalink entry here. So make sure to find it on the appropriate place, click it. And what I'm going to do is just change the URL or permalink of this to lost password, because this is one of the requirements of the plugin that this URL and this slug has to match. Otherwise it won't work, right? So this is done. Now what I can do is, or what I need to do is add a short code to the page as well. So I'll just type in the short code option for adding the short code block. And I'll just type in a short code, which is very simple to remember. It's the name of the plugin theme hyphen my login. So theme my login separate by hyphens space action equals to quotes open the same slug that we used lost password. I just pasted in double quotes closed and also square brackets closed. Simple to understand. Let's publish this post publish and the page is live. Let's copy the uh, URL. Let's go back to the old incognito. I'll, I've closed this window. Let's open one more incognito window. Let's paste it and I'll just resize the window once more. 
And now you see that this page has been customized, but you might notice that this is the exact same page as you saw earlier, because of course, I haven't added any customization options on the page for demonstration. So let me close this window once again. And just to give you an example of what you could do with this plugin is, you have complete control over the page, all you can do inside the block editor. That's the only requirement, only limitation you have. Anything that you can do in the block editor, you can customize on this page. So just to give you an example of what you can do, I'll just add an image on the page so that I can just demonstrate how it reflects or how it works, right? So I'm just gonna add the uh, image block here. And I believe I already have one image uploaded as a random image. Let me select that image. I'll update the post. So right now, uh, anything or everything on the page is exactly the same except for this image. Let's open up another incognito window. I'll resize it first. Let me open that up. And now you see the lost password page has the same fields that we were just uh, looking at earlier and also the image. So it's that easy to customize your pages with this plugin. Of course, you are limited by some of the limitations of the block editor, but still you have much more control than the default WordPress settings, which doesn't give you any options at all, right? You have the default WordPress logo. So that's how you customize the password reset page. But you, of course, any of these pages you want to customize, just follow the same rules. Make sure the slug matches from the slug add the short code and then you are free to change anything that you like. But of course, this is not giving you complete control. And if you want complete control, you want to design the page exactly how you want it. There's another way as well, which I'm going to discuss right now. Let's talk about that. So let's talk about the second method you can utilize to completely transform how your login pages, registration pages, and even the password reset pages look on your website. Of course, we'll be using a plugin again this time, but this time we'll be using a different plugin called WP Forms. WP Forms, the website is called wpforms.com. And you might be thinking, even from the website, drag and drop WordPress form builder. I'm not trying to build a form, I'm trying to customize the login and password reset page on a website, Yuvraj. Well, you're correct, but WP Forms is much more than just a form plugin. And technically, if you think about it, what is a registration page? It has a form. What's a password reset page? It has a form. And what is a password reset completely, or all the pages that we were talking about customizing, all consists of forms. And what WP Forms allows you to do is just utilize or use WP Forms to create those forms, and then you can embed them anywhere on your website. All right? But just keep in mind that the free version of WP Forms, which you can find in the repository, does not have this feature. You'll need the premium version of WP Forms to pull off this functionality. But uh, don't worry, you can check out the pricing on the uh, WP Forms website and you can download the plugin, which I already have. So let me install the plugin. I'll go to plugins, I'll go to add new. And I have the WP Forms uh, premium version zip file already on my site or already on my computer. I'll just click the upload button. I'll just drag and drop the plugin file. I'll install it. Let's activate the plugin. Let's go to WP Form settings first and also first uh, activate the plugin with the license key, of course. I'll just paste that in, verify. And now my website is activated with the premium version of WP Forms. Now, to utilize this feature of customizing your password reset pages, you'll need to install an add-on to WP Forms. Similar to how you install plugins on WordPress, you can install add-ons on WP Forms, which keeps the plugin or the main plugin light and adds a lot of functionality. You can go to the add-ons by clicking the add-on section or add-ons link here in the menu. And this will open up the tons of different add-ons you have available to customize and enhance the power of WP Forms. There are tons of uh, plugins or tons of, I say, add-ons here. But the one we are interested in is this one called User Registration Add-on. You see it right here. Let me click the Install Add-on button. So the User Registration Add-on has been installed on the site. And of course, I have the premium version also activated. Now we're ready to cr start creating some forms on the site, which will replace the default forms or default uh, registration forms. So let's go to All Forms, or we can just instantly go to Add New. And this will bring us to the form creation workflow, which where we can select or create a form from scratch. There are plenty of add-ons available, templates available. You can utilize in one click. Right now, we're interested in only the specific forms that we're trying to create. So instead of trying to hunt down the specific add-on or specific form, just go to the add-on templates. And once you click this, you'll see three options. You have the user login form, user password reset form, user registration form. So yes, technically you can use WP forms to customize all of these. So you can customize the registration form, uh, the login form, and also the password reset form. The process will be exactly the same in all three. But since this video is about the password reset form, I'll just utilize that one right now. I click on that and this will load my page. 
So this is the default user password reset form that WP Forms has provided to us. Now we can customize this form, but of course for password resets, we don't need to add a lot of fields. Whatever is present is more than enough, but we can customize the form still. For example, the submit button, we can replace to uh, reset your password. So I'll click on this. It will uh, bring up the general settings for the form. I can go to the submit button text. I can just change this to uh, reset password. And in the processing, I can say, verifying credentials or verifying email i'll go back to the fields and now the uh, button has been customized of course this form is uh, ready to go that we can utilize but there's some other things that we can customize as well so we go to the settings or if we go to the settings here we have plenty of options to customize but right now i'm just uh, focused on the confirmations and notifications notifications is like if you want to uh, get emails about that okay our user is trying to reset their password then you can enable this notification and customize it in the confirmation section is what users will see once they actually submit the request so right now because it is a form the uh, confirmation message says thanks for uh, thanks for contacting us uh, contacting us we will be in touch with you shortly but we can customize this which will make it more appropriate for the password reset form so we can say Hey, password uh, reset request accepted. Please check your email. So this is the confirmation message that will be shown to the users once they submit this form. And of course, we have other options as well. So if you just don't want to show a message and you want to redirect them to a custom page, you have that option as well. You can show a page or you can redirect them to a specific page. But I'm just keeping it simple, uh, sticking with the message option. I just save my page, save the form. I'll go to the fields option. And now this form is ready. Now we just need to add it to a certain page so that the form page can be customized based on whatever we want to do, right? So the easiest way to do that is by going into the embed option. I'll just click on this and I can create a new page or select an existing page. I'll create a new page just for demonstration. I'll name it password uh, reset WP forms don't want any conflicts with the old plugin let's go this will create a new page on my site and automatically name it password reset WP forms so once again we are at the same uh, place which we were with the previous plugin the form is now embedded on this page and we have the Gutenberg or the block editor which we can completely utilize to add anything customize whatever we want to do with this uh, particular page let me just demonstrate that very quickly to you first. Let me publish this page. I'll publish it and I'll copy this, open up an incognito window and I'll just open it once again. Now you see, this is the password reset form. Let's say if I add an email here just for demonstration and I click the reset password, it'll automatically detect that this is not an email that's registered on the site. It'll give me an error. Let me just add my username, which I'm using for this particular website. It says very simple. Let me reset the password and now automatically password request or password reset request accepted. Please check your email. This is the same message we configured in the form. So the form is actually working perfectly and we have the Gutenberg or the block editor that we can utilize to completely customize the page however we want. Now, at this point, you might be asking me, Yuvraj, if I had to use just the block editor, I would just stick with the easier plugin. Why would I go and purchase WP Forms and then do the same thing? All to come back to the block editor, which is again limiting. I want to completely customize my page, not just have slightly more control than uh, what WordPress provides us. Well, that's the best part. You're not limited to Gutenberg or the block editor to customize your page. You can actually use WP Forms, this password reset form, with any page builder you like. Yes, so you create any page with any page builder, seed prod, Elementor, any page builder you like, and just embed this specific form that you created on that page that you want to create, and then you can, that becomes your password reset page. So what I do is I'll pause the video for a second, I'll install the page builder add-on, or I'll install a page builder, just import a quick page on the site, and I'm going to then demonstrate how you can add that, or how you can add this pass specific password reset form that we just created on any page builder or page created with page builder. All right, I'll be back in a second. So I'm back and what I've done on my website is install a very popular page builder called SeedProd. So SeedProd is installed on my site. I'm adding a new landing page with SeedProd and SeedProd is providing me with or SeedProd has tons of uh, like landing page templates I can utilize. Since I'm creating a, a login or registration page, I'll go, go to this uh, filter and choose any of the templates that are available to me. Now you can see that there are plenty of options available. Uh, we can pick any one of those that we like. Let's say I like this one. If I want to uh, check out the preview, I can click the magnifying icon 
and this will just give me a preview of how the uh, final result will look like. Now, of course, this is a sign in page template where we can customize this to password reset as well. So I'll choose this template, which will create a new page on my site. Once again, I'll just name this to password uh, reset. Uh, let's name it seed prod just for simplicity. Let's save and start editing the page. So this opens up Seed Prod's drag and drop builder, which gives us complete control over whatever we want to do on our page. We can completely customize it. Whatever we want to do, there are tons of elements that you can utilize to customize the page, whatever or however you like. Since this is a password reset form that we are creating, or password reset page we are creating, we'll just customize the form a little bit or the page a little bit just to represent what we are doing. So instead of the sign in uh, text here, I'll just uh, change it to reset password. And since this is a pre-made form built into the page, I'll delete this and replace it with the WP forms form that we created. So I'll just delete this one and I'll go to the search blocks. I'll type in WP forms and I'll go to the widget section. And I'll find WP forms here. I'll drag it on the page just between the reset password and the click on the sign in, which I'm going to customize once again and click on the apply widget settings to see the changes. I'm going to wait for it. And now, this is where it gets interesting. Now, since I just created the one form on the site, I had no confusion about what form I want to add. But if you create multiple forms, or let's say WP Forms is the regular form plugin that you are utilizing, you have to remember which of the forms uh, you created for specifically for the password reset option. So what I'm going to do is just select this. And since this is the only form I've created, I'll just select this and it will apply. And now it's showing up right here. Let me change some of the other settings. Let's say, I'll just delete this option. It's much, much simpler to just delete this. Yep. And if I do this, now you can instantly see that I've customized the page completely. And now this form is a reset password form. I'll just save the page. Just for an example, I'll preview or I'll open this page up in an incognito window. Just give me one second. So I opened up the page in a new incognito window, which you can see right here. Now you can see that the page is completely transformed from the default WordPress login or registration page, or even the password reset page. And of course, as I demonstrated, this is using a page builder. So I can do anything. Everything is under my control. What images I want to add, background colors, animations, everything that a page builder supports is uh, completely customizable or is doable on the page. Once again, let me demonstrate how it works. If I enter a dummy email, which is not an admin or not a user, it'll give me an error. But if I do this, which is a legitimate user on the site, it'll say password reset request accepted. Please check your email. So this is how you completely customize your password reset pages in WordPress. Of course, the same applies for your login pages or even the registration pages. Now, if you're wondering where to find the URL and how to place it on the screen, you can go to Seed Prod or any page builder you're uh, you're using, go to the pages section, a new page is created. You can see the Seed Prod landing page, password reset Seed Prod. Copy the link from here and just add it anywhere on the site. You can add it to the footer, the header, or wherever you feel that users need to access the password reset page. Just place the URL promptly and they'll be able to access this page on the on your website. And of course, you need to remember that even though you are creating a customized page, you also want to ensure that the emails for password reset are actually reaching your users. Because if you don't configure a proper SMTP server or SMTP service with your website, users will not be able to receive any emails from your site and then will defeat the entire purpose. So if you want to learn how to do that, there's a video right here on the screen, which you can watch and will teach you how to configure your website with a proper SMTP service or SMTP server so that you can send out emails from your site. And of course, if you have any questions about this, then you can leave that in the comments. Like this video if you enjoyed this and subscribe to our channel for more WordPress tutorials. You're watching Yuvraj from WP Beginner and I'll catch you very soon in the next video. Take care.